Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I am going to be doing your July 2021 money and career reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed and linked in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into the safe and loving space. Let's let the bowl sing as we see what the tarot has to say. Taurus, July 2021, Money and Career, Taurus. July 2021, Money and Career, Taurus. Angels and Spirit Guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and Spirit Guides. Ooh, okay. These three. Taurus. July 2021, Money and Career, Taurus. Taurus, July 2021, Money and Career, Taurus. Angels and Spirit Guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and Spirit Guides. Angels and Spirit Guides. Okay, at the bottom is our rooted self. The top is our crown self. So let's see what the cards have to say. We have the Page of Pentacles, which is us. We're represented by the Pentacles in the Minor Arcana. We're represented by the Hierophant in the Major Arcana. We then have the Empress, and we have the Eight of Swords. So that's so interesting. We're students of the power that we're bringing forward into the world, and yet we're going to be our worst enemy during this time. We're going to cage ourselves in. We're going to have doubts and fears and, and hurts and pains be, be our fallback. And that's going to be, that's a dangerous place to be because there's so much potential here. And we're going to look at this and think, I can't do this. Like, I can't possibly move forward this way. And then we have our crown self, which is the queen of wands, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the four of cups, divinity handing us a gift that we're not even seeing. We, not, we might not be ready for this quite yet. And when we get a gift that we're not ready for, or that is, is molding us, it comes in the form of something that is an added burden that is added work and we think oh my gosh i can't possibly like why the heck did this happen to me why do i have to deal with this so that's something to be very very mindful of during this time let's look at our chakra energy taurus july 2021 money and career taurus july 2021 money and career taurus angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly inspiration, the sacral chakra. Now I love the sacral chakra because it's so complex. Now, as you know, if you've been watching this channel for a while, is that the sacral chakra is where all the negative energy is stored from this life and from past lives. And if that wasn't complicated enough, just in and of itself, the sacral chakra is also where our sexual energy is stored and where our creative energy is stored. So there can be a blockage here that's manifesting itself into all avenues of our lives. And it can be from our early development. It can be from past lives that it's coming in, but there's an intensity here that we think, what the heck is going on? Like, why, why is this like my lot in life? And this is a new dawn coming in. This is new inspiration leading us forward. But the question is, are we brave enough? With the Queen of Wands, I mean, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, if we're born on the cusp with Aries, 
or if we have a lot of fire sign within our chart it's wanting to grow it's wanting to build it's wanting to come out there's a bit of magic in us that is saying i'm here why aren't you looking at me and there's going to be a bit of magic in every single one of us taurians to what degree that's going to be personal so here with the inspiration this is time to be inspired and you might be saying that's great Dane. you know it's great to say be inspired it's great to say push the envelope it's great to to say all those buzzwords what does that mean in my life and how do i get out of this drudgery or how do i start to change things we start to be brave and that's going to be a bit hard with the eight of swords at our root but it's also going to be a bit wonderful with the empress at our center at the sense of there's more here we're creating we're cultivating we're moving things forward i'm nurturing and i'm bringing this i'm birthing this into the world are you ready for it and that's the question taurus are you ready for it when it comes to money and career are you ready to take the next step and we might be saying yes i am i'm absolutely ready i want to but then the nagging thoughts come back the sense of i'm not good enough the sense of you know i've I've fallen too many times or I've been in an abusive relationship so long that I don't have any faith left in myself. How do I move forward? Where do I want to be? Or I'm disabled and I've always been told I can't and I know I can. How do I, how do I step out of that chaos? Now let's look at the energy we have to be mindful of. Taurus. July 2021, money and career. Taurus, what energy does Taurus need to be mindful of? July 2021, money and career. Taurus, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. It's ourselves. It's the Hierophant. It's getting in our own way. It's saying that the things that bring my heart joy don't matter. I just need to look at success. I just need to look at bounty. It can also be being, being too committed to one idea or one person, or one place. Hierophant is also institutions. It's also the Major Arcana wedding card. So when a Taurus is loyal, a, Taur a Taurus is loyal to the very end, if, if they are being true, if they're in their proper energy. And so here, we might be being loyal to an aspect of ourselves that we should not be loyal to anymore, or a person in our lives that we should not be loyal to anymore. We need to say, what is it that I want? How is it that I move forward? to embrace who I am, not who everybody else wants to, me to be, but who I am innately. And that's where we become the student because we, we need to be mindful of our intense power. That is us. That's the very essence of us in the major arcana. That's how we come out. And with the, with the page of pentacles, it's like, all right, this is what I'm studying. I am studying my prosperity. I am studying my bounty. I am studying how I break through, through barriers. I'm also studying what wealth is to me. You know, <laughs> excuse me, not everybody in the world will drive the fanciest car and live in the most exclusive zip code. They wouldn't be the fanciest car and the most exclusive zip codes if everybody had them. What does prosperity look like to me? Is it sitting around the fire with friends, talking and laughing? Is it, you know, being able to have all my bills paid? Is it security? Is it stability? Are it those boring words that mean a lot, especially as we get older? We are being students here. This is a tremendous time to learn because the empress that's at our root, the empress has us growing. The empress has us taking in this information, taking in this creativity and being able to to bring it forward into the world. As we're learning it, we're going to be creating something, birthing something forward that changes our minds, changes our attitude, changes how we see things and how we see ourselves. There's a tremendous amount of creativity to us. And because we are so loyal to things, birthing this creativity forward can seem like, oh, it just has to be perfect first because I'm so loyal to the idea. I'm so loyal to the people I want to help, or I'm so loyal to the inspiration that I want to give, that it just has to be perfect before I can bring it forward. And there's something beauty, there's something beautiful in the messes. There is. And <laughs> I was always a very tactile child. I liked the, the gushy feel of finger painting and, you know, clay and all that stuff. And I've always felt, ever since I was very little, that there is something beautiful in that moment of chaos, that moment where everything is kind of like going wrong and, and the art isn't making sense anymore or life isn't making sense. And it's very hard to see the beauty in, in life when it starts to fall apart. 
but it's very powerful to see the beauty within ourselves to say but i'm still here i'm still fighting i'm still creating i'm still cultivating and that's where we need to be so it doesn't matter where you are on your journey it doesn't matter if you have everything together or if you're still kind of putting it together what matters is how we are creating it the fact that we're still in the process we're going to have to see where this wild and crazy ride brings us and when it comes to money and career you might be saying dane you know this doesn't help me get more money in yes it does yes it does because it's saying here create it's saying here push the envelope it's saying here to look at things and not overanalyze it and and see what comes of it write things down in a notebook write things down on your phone or speak them into your phone any ideas that you have see see where they can go you know start learning about different people or what is it strange history on youtube where you you learn these strange weird murder cases and you know and histories about people and things and it, it boggles the mind you think wow what the heck is that and it starts pushing you outside the realm of reality into the sense of the extraordinary and i think on the the brink of extraordinary you know when spirit says you know keep on pushing yourself the brink of extraordinary seems like madness and it's not madness because we're coming from a place of kindness we're coming from a place of love we're coming from a place of of divinity you know seeing the god's head within each individual within ourselves and it's being able to create that forward and it's being able to say there's more here there's more here than the mind-numbing monotony there's more here than meets the eye and it brings us to the eight of swords and the eight of swords is being penned in by that mind-numbing monotony it is thinking that life has to be like this because it's always been because that's what works for everybody you know or that's what they tell you works this is what you have to do this is how you have to do it this is what success looks like and the eight of swords can be everybody else's expectations the eight of swords can be our own expectations for what we thought life would be and then as we're living it and it's messy and it's you know powerful and it's weird what life actually is we put ourselves in cages we do we say this is what a prosperous successful person looks like we say this is what a failure looks like and we can be both at the exact same time and we think that's it and the eight of swords people live their whole lives in the eight of swords in other people's expectations in their own expectations in doubts and in fears and i always i think it's mrs hamston hamstead i don't know it starts with an h and i always forget it and you guys always remember it in the comment box but it's from great expectations and she wears her tattered wedding dress mourning the life that she could have had the wedding that she could have had the beauty that she could have had but didn't and that is such a warning to each and every one of us not to let the dreams rot around us not to let the wedding dress rot around us because one thing didn't come true. One set of expectations, great expectations, were not met. And it brings us to our crowning moments, the Queen of Wands, passion and creativity and insight and ideas and stepping back from things and saying, how do I express this? How do I embrace this? Where do I want to be? What leads me forward? What is success to me? The Queen of Wands always makes me think of Hestia in Greek mythology. She gave up being one of the elite Greek goddesses so that peace could be, so that harmony could be within the world, so that the gods weren't launched into another war. They had just finished the war with the Titans. And it was, it was her act of saying, I don't want to be one of the big, big goddesses or, or gods, you know? I'm going to step down. So then there would be an equal amount of gods and goddesses because before there were an uneven amount. And she stepped down, and because she stepped down, she became worshipped in every single house, in Greece and in Rome. She's Hestia. She's the hearth. And she was the center of every single household. What if our dreams become the center of our households, the center of our worlds? And it doesn't mean that we have to be successful at it. It doesn't mean that it has to be larger than life. But they become ethics that we live by. It becomes passion that guides us. It becomes, this is what I love. 
dancing in the middle of the living room at the end of the day, being silly and laughing. Why can't that be important? Why is it always measured by the dollar? And why are we always so hard on ourselves? This is passion. This is career. This is new dawns and new days and sparks and wonderment coming back into our existence. We need the wonder. Wonder is important. It's the fact that when you see a sunset, your, your breath can be taken away. I look at my nephew, he's two, and everything, he goes, oh, wow. Oh, wow, a box is being opened. Oh, wow, we're going outside. Oh, wow. When do we lose that? Why do we lose that? It's so cool. And yet, we become jaded. I was talking to my sister-in-law, and she was, she was saying that her, her daughter, who, my niece, who just turned three, She's like, oh yeah, she's like an old hand that things, things aren't amazing her anymore. She's, she's become cynical. She's a cynical three-year-old. Do we come cynical at three? Like, is that the world? Let's find that wonderment again. Let's find that R. Let's find that energy of, of greatness, of beauty, because that's what divinity is handing us, and we're not ready for it. We are seldom ready to, to let awe into our lives. But why not try? And you might say, how is this going to help me with my career? How is this going to help me with my bank account? It's going to help you because it's going to start breaking down barriers that you didn't even know were in, in your life. It's going to help because there are gifts that are coming that are going to give you insight into different directions, different ideas. It's added work that you think, oh my gosh, what is this nonsense that becomes prosperity that, that redefines. So let's go deeper. Show me more deeply. Taurus, money and career, July 2021. Show me deeply, Taurus, money and career, July 2021. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. The Knight of Cups and the Five of Wands. We have to be very conscious of, of fighting. We do. And that's why emotionally we need to have our armor on. Now this is water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Important if we are, if we have a water sign energy within our chart, right? This part of our personality is going to come out strong and it's going to have its armor on. It's going to be ready for, for battle, for, you know, yeah, the nonsense that comes forward. And the five of wands is internal doubts and fears, chaos from within, but it's also chaos from without. You know, getting involved in office politics, looking at, at things and, and letting, letting ourselves be swept away with the trauma and the drama that people develop, whether it be the news or whether it be, you know, friends and family. Don't get swept away in fear and don't get swept away in fear mongering. Just step back from it. It can be really, really hard. But this is to decrease the chaos within our lives, not increase it, because we're slowly and steadily moving forward in prosperity, in bounty, and towards abundance. And the Knight of Cups says, this is sacred to me. How do I move forward in this sacredness, in this pushing of limits, in this sense of, of the bounty that I am to achieve is beyond my wildest expectations. How can I fall, call forward what I love? It brings us to our subconscious, chakra message, which is soul's healing. And this is the soul star chakra located six inches above the crown. This is a healing from past traumas and past hurts. This is a light that shines in us that makes it feel like, okay, well, maybe I can. Subconsciously, there's a sense of maybe I can. Maybe I can put my toe into that water. Maybe I can push limitations. And the energy that we have to be mindful of is the hermit Virgo energy, the sense of turning too deeply inward and saying, again, I have to have it all figured out. It's, it's not about having it figured out. It's about letting the chaos come and seeing what can be, be created from it. It's also saying here, we will have the, the ability to retreat very deeply within ourselves. And we kind of have to fight that during this time. Our subconscious rooted energy is the King of Swords. The King of Swords is air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It can be very logical and it can be, it's the warrior king. So it's very much going to be focused on the battles that need to be fought, the, the truth that needs to be, be seen. And we can really go once again at our rooted self to all the knowledge, 
give me all the facts. I want it all written out. I need to see it all. And if I don't have everything always right in front of me, black and white, you know, white page, black print, as clear as day, it means nothing. We're going to miss so much if we let that attitude come forward. But this is also, in the positive sense, slaying the chaos, slaying the hurt, say, slaying the pain, and saying, I have a right. I have a right to lead the charge. I have a right to go after what I want. This is what I've worked for, and this is what I'm obtaining. It brings us then to our subconscious crowned energy, which is the Page of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands. We are embracing the prosperity, the insights, the ideas, the, the power. We're claiming that and we're moving forward with it. But we're also looking at things in a very different way. We're breaking down barriers. We're asking the questions. We're diving deeper. We're very much seekers during this time. And in the public arena, the pentacles are part of the public arena. The wands are part of the public arena. Their career and their, their money. Money is the pentacles. Career is the wands. And there's a sense here of there's more. There has to be more. I just have to see it from a different angle. And this is what we can become obsessed with, looking at things from different angles, trying to dive deeper and deeper and deeper. We have to, oh, wait, that's so funny, pick this up. And right here is the page of pentacles. So there's going to be the sense of when is gathering up enough information enough? And how do I strike forward? How do I, how do I embrace my braveness of soul and say, I gotta go for it, for it. I got to go further. Our subconscious energy that defines us, that dives deeper, is the Nine of Swords. Doubts, fears, nightmares. Overthinking, overanalyzing, and letting fear take hold. We have to be very mindful of that. Very mindful of falling into that trap. All right, Taurus. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all, and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the prosperity that is to come. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Taurus. <laughs>